leaving Los Angeles because it's time to go. Um, it's time for me to go. And then I got cancer. And then, like right there. See that right there? Or here's the money. Cancer was the best thing that ever happened to me. I mean, it was cancer. Eight years that I've lived in Los Angeles. And, uh, and now I'm going on the road. <laughs> Runs like a girl away from this place. Where this place will make his men, his ahis, you know, ahis. So I'm a 45 year old man, I'll be 46 at the end of the month, and I've been a bartender for 25 years, and I can't do it anymore. So what I did was, I quit my job, I sold most everything that I own, and I decided to drive to Alaska to start. And after Alaska, I'm going down to Texas and after Texas I'm going down to up to Chicago and after Chicago going up to Vermont and Vermont down to Florida spend the winter keeping an eye on my mom but I'm three days out four days out of Los Angeles that's where I've been bartending and and this is what I get to look at today That's so much better than drunk people. Like if you're not happy, you gotta, or you're not peaceful. If you're not enjoying this planet that we're on, then you've got to do something. You can't wait and for the universe to change it for you because the universe doesn't give a fuck about you. But you've got to change your little piece in this universe. You can't, you can't just wait. You can't be passive. This is your own life. Chrissy Hine of The Pretenders, lead singer of The Pretenders. I was watching a documentary with Chrissy Hine. And Chrissy Hine, you could tell she was sick of talking about herself, which is amazing in this society. Anybody's sick of talking about themselves. And she turns to the camera and she looks at it and she goes, if my life is more interesting than yours, then you should change your life. And I just... I, I was flabbergasted. Here I was trying to learn about Chrissy Hine and the Pretenders, and Chrissy Hine's telling me, why is my life more fascinating than yours? Do something. Like, this life, your life, doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, it matters to you, and yeah, it matters to the people around you, but if you look around and you see a rock or a tree something that's been here for millennium or eons or however long, you're an ant in this life. So if you're an ant in this life, then why shouldn't you be the best ant you can possibly be? Why can't you in this life be whatever kind of ant you want to become? What's important to you? Family, sure, but how important are you to your own life? Like how many days are you gonna do the job that you hate? How many days are you gonna live the life that you can't live anymore? Like what's your happiness worth to you? What's, what's peace worth to you? And if you can figure that out, you can answer the questions of of what peace is and what's it worth to you, well then you can go after it. 
Hi, and I suppose I should give you a grand tour of my digs. Uh, I've been spending the last 48 hours here in Sequoia National Forest and uh, found myself a little campsite called uh, Buckeye Flat. <laughs> Uh, and I've been hanging out here for the past couple days. It's been real nice. Um, so I'll give you a quick, quick, grand uh, tour. So uh, here we are on the grand tour. Uh, that is the refrigerator. That is the box that we store all the food in because of bears. This is the television. This is what we'll be watching later tonight. This is my table and easy chair where I do that table and easy chair thing. And this is the bedroom, beautiful, beautiful bedroom. I'd like to thank Lance Barber for supplying the tent for the bedroom. And then this is what I call the grand staircase down to the dining room. Oh, and here we are in the dining room. And the dining room has the most lovely view. Yeah, that's water. That's a river. And it's awesome. 